Hello everybody and welcome to part six of six of What of Midoriya. Had an anti quirk sword like Asas from Black Clover, but adapted to the My Hero Academia universe. If you haven't seen the previous parts, there will be a link in the description below and the annotation above. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and if you enjoy the video, please Detroit smash that like button. After winning the cavalry battle, the third uh, and last round of the sports festival is announced. It's a 1v1 tournament. Ojiro steps up and resigns from the tournament because he wasn't in control of his body. This inspires Shota from class B to do the same. So Tetsu Tetsu and Ibarra are selected as the substitutes in their place. The battles will be different in this version, just a little warning. The first fight is announced and it is Shinso versus Bakugo. Shinso says, I guess you're my opponent then. Bakugo is about to answer when Ojiro blocks his mouth with his tail saying, don't answer. Later in the waiting room, o uh, Bakugo asks Ojiro, what the hell was that tail guy? Ojiro answers by explaining the situation, like with Shinso's quirk and whatnot. A bit later, the fight actually starts. Shinso starts making fun of Bakugo, trying to get him to answer, retort, whatever, trying to get him to, to brainwash him. Bakugo keeps quiet and asks Shinso um, and attacks Shinso until he steps out of bounds. So Bakugo bas passes on to the next round. Like with the explosions, he pushes him slowly but surely. The second round is Kaminari versus Midoriya. The fight starts and Kaminari wants to quickly take care of Midoriya, knowing what he is capable of. So he doesn't. So he goes for an indiscriminate shock. Shouts. Indiscriminate shock! 1.3 million volts! The moment he does that, Midoriya summons a big shield like the SWAT shield and hides behind it. He says, nullifying shield while blocking the lightning. Kaminari electro uh, electricity stops shooting as he is now kind of stupid, like he, he, went, he short circuited his brain. The shield disappears and Midoriya summons the sword to the other hand. At that point, President Mike says, Izuku Midoriya, he can summon a variety of weapons, uh, mainly a sword, that can nullify quirks. Midoriya goes with the sword and hits Kamino Kaminari over the head, knocking him out. Midoriya passes to the next round. Kirishima vs Hatsume is the next one, and ends with Hatsume stepping out of bounds after toying with Kirishima, like she did with Ida in the main version. Next... Uraraka versus Tetsu 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 Since Tetsu Tetsu doesn't know Uraraka's quirk and Tetsu Tetsu also doesn't have any mid or long range attacks Uraraka wins when she comes in contact with Tetsu Tetsu touching him with all five fingers making him float Thus winning the round After that it's Yayorozu versus Ashido Yaya Rozu tries to create shields to block Ashido's attack and even weapons to attack Ashido with, but Ashido easily melts through them using her acid. So she wins when Yaya Rozu eventually runs out of lipids. Next, Aoyama vs. Tokoyami. Although Tokoyami's dark shadow has a weakness to the light from the navel laser, Tokoyami manages, Tokoyami manages to win by grabbing Aoyama from the back and aiming his laser away and pushing him out of bounds. Ida vs. Zero. The beginning of the fight, like he did in the main continuity against Todoroki, Zero shoots tape at Ida and tries to move him out of bounds. Ida uses his engines to reverse the spin, throwing Zero out of bounds instead. Next up, Todoroki vs. Ibarra, the plant girl from Class 1B. Since Toroki's mad because of the conversation he has with his father beforehand, um, he, he attacks once Ibarra attacks with her mines. Toroki freezes her over easily, creating a giant iceberg that has her totally immobilized. Next, um, she, wa uh, she was kind of at a disadvantage, even considering both sides of Todoroki, since plants are weak against both ice and fire. Next is the match rematch between Bakugo and Midoriya. Before the fight actually starts, there's a bit of, uh, like, remarks. Uh, Bakugo says, 
Might as well give up now, you damn nerd. You have no chance of beating me this time. Midori just scoffs and says, We will see. I think I have a higher chance than you think. The fight begins and Midori makes both a shield and a sword at the same time. First time he's done that yet. Bakugo goes to attack Midoriya with all the explosive uh, with all the explosions he can. Midoriya spends most of the time blocking the attacks uh, with the shield and counters with the sword when when Bakugo kind of needs to rest, but misses most of the time. After a while, he actually manages to hit Bakugo with the sword, blocking his quirk for a while. He then spends most of the time the rest of the time in the fight trying to knock Bakugo over the head, knocking him to knock him out. But before that, Bakugo dodging kind of steps out of bounds without really realizing it. Next, it's Uraraka versus Kirishima, which because of Kirishima only having hand-to-hand -hand attacks, means that Uraraka manages to touch him, winning the fight because he floats away. Um, Ashido versus Tokoyami ends with Tokoyami winning since Dark Shadow blocks all the acid and manages to restrain Ashido. Next is Todoroki, which, uh, Todoroki versus Ida, which, like in the anime, because this fight was in the anime, ends with Todoroki winning. On to the semi-finals. Midoriya against Uraraka. Uraraka wants to beat Midoriya no matter what, since she wants to prove to herself that she can be a great hero even in fights. She tells Midoriya, don't go easy on me, okay, Deku? And Midoriya says, okay, with a smile on his face, even though he does kind of go easy on her. The fight starts and Uraraka coming um, in to make Midoriya float. Midoriya dodges constantly, using some martial arts move, throwing her forward and backward, like kind of dodging, grabbing her wrist and throwing her. Uh, he then makes a staff as to not damage her too bad. And Midoriya spends most of the fight dodging and countering attacks, moving her closer and closer to the edge of the stadium. And he gets her to walk off the edge accidentally. Knocking her out of bounds, so Midoriya passes to the final finals. Tokoyami vs Todoroki ends with Todoroki winning by freezing both Tokoyami and Dark Shadow completely solid, pretty easily. Last is Todoroki vs Midoriya, like this fight happens in the anime, but still. Um... Todoroki starts the fight sending a barrage of ice at Midoriya. Midoriya blocks the attack by smashing it with his sword. The cycle repeats for a bit until Midoriya gets tired and shouts at Todoroki. What the hell are you doing Todoroki? Look at me, you haven't put a single scratch on me. If you want a chance to win you will have to come at me with your full power. You need to give it your all just like we've all been doing. You need to use your fire sight if you want to win. Todoroki says, what, did my father bribe you or something? Did he put you up to to convince me to use my, his power or something? Midori says, that's the difference here, Todoroki. It's not his power. It's your power, not his. Todoroki smiles and says, you asked for it, and starts using fire and ice at Midoriya. Midoriya now makes his shield to block the attacks. He blocks the fire and the ice, slowing, gl slowly getting closer to Todoroki. He jumps for an in for an attack, but Todoroki manages to dodge it, um, using the ice, like making a small ice bridge to get away, to get some distance. And from there he prepares one of his ultimate attacks, the flash freeze heat wave, throwing Midoriya off the stage with the explosion that the attack causes. It's the attack he uses in the sports festival. He uses his ice to keep himself inside the inside of bounds, since the explosion is so devastating that it even pushes him. But Midoriya isn't as damaged as in the main continue because he has blocked most of the attack with the shield. Um, the medals are given. Toroki gets first place, Midoriya second, Uraka and Tokuyami get third. Ida does have to leave because of his brother being attacked by Stain. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Please make sure to leave a like subscribe, make sure to leave suggestions on what you want to see in the comments, and until next time, have a nice day everyone. Bye!